Welcome to Hell Has an Exit. I'm your host, Brian Alzate. On this show, we interview individuals who have survived addiction and other sorts of adversities and have lived to tell about it. By the way, the bullet is in the center of my brain as we speak. What were you thinking? Let me tell you, it's by God's grace that I didn't catch no bodies that day because I kept asking God to protect me, but I couldn't stop me. And that's what prompted me to get help. By that same therapist, I said, yo, I'm going to end up killing this guy or he's going to end up killing me. You know, there's a lot of good men and good women that are incarcerated. It doesn't mean they lose their sense of community. It doesn't mean they lose their sense of humanity. You know what I mean? What happens in your recovery where you decide, like, or you really feel like you're going to stay clean this time? I kind of knew pretty quickly when I got my sponsor down here. You know, you should get paid like a check from doing a scene. Being in my car shooting up, I get a knock on the window and I turn my head and I was like, fuck. It was the principal of my school. And I like continue to use and I put my car in reverse and almost like run him over and kill him.